With the event type problems out of the way, we now need to examine the entire audio file as a whole and see how we can make some improvements. Let's gate out the noise floor with some native effects. So we've done pretty good at cleaning this up, but if you recall, let's select some of this dead space here. And with looping on, we'll go ahead and play it back. You can see that we do have a bit of noise going on, even though it might be not very audible at this level, it is still a bit frustrating to hear. So what we need to do is kind of gate that out. Let's stop everything. Now, what we can do to do this is to go ahead and look up in here. We've got our effects menu option. Let's go down and choose an effect. So I want to gate this out. What I'm going to do is choose from my amplitude and compression effects. And I happen to know that dynamics processing has a really nice gating feature. So I'm going to choose dynamics processing and I can see the dynamics processing effect window. Now there are a number of different presets here that you can always choose from. However, when I'm gating something like this, I normally like to do it on my own. So I am going to make adjustments to this particular graph right here in order to go ahead and make the needed fixes. So the first thing I need to do is again, make a selection of this background sound here. And then I'm going to play it so we can preview. All right. So what we see here is that our background noise, very similar to what we see down here in the levels, it goes up to about negative 50, a little bit over that. So the first thing we want to do along this graph, we want to basically put a gate or a wall so that only any of the frequencies that are in this area only stuff that's this loud actually comes through. So that's going to include the voice, of course. So what we'll do is set our initial point right around there. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And then we'll set another point and click and drag that point. And you'll notice a number of things happening as we do that. I'm going to have it kind of slope off a little bit like this. And this is always going to depend upon your particular file and your recording environment, exactly how much you might need to gate off. So you can see there's a little bit still getting through, which is fine. But over here, you can see that it's being uh, removed quite a bit. So this shows that even the stuff getting through here, everything is being lowered in terms of its decibel volume. So what this means is that you can see down here in our levels, now that's not coming through anymore. Let's go ahead and disable this effect by toggling the power state. And now we can see once again, here's everything that's coming through that needs to be gated. As soon as I click this back on, look at that. Now our levels show something nice and quiet when it's supposed to be quiet. Now you have to be careful with gating because you do want to make sure that the voice actually comes through just fine. So let's go ahead and make sure. We'll just click somewhere else. Choose a project type and you are ready right. to go. And the points you really want to be careful of are right here. Choose a project type and you are ready to go. And that seems pretty good. What can happen when you gate Choose is sometimes, type and let's you are ready stop to go. this. Sometimes what can happen is you've got too hard of a gate and you'll miss a little bit at the beginning when the speaker starts to talk again. Um, the way ours is set up is, is just fine. Now, what you could do is hit apply and it's going to apply this effect to the entire file. However, there is a better way of applying effects than doing simple ones one at a time like this. And that's actually through the effects rack, which we'll see next. So go ahead and just hit close to get out of this effect window.